you're from Graham. Say what's up, America? I think you should know me, right? On behalf of Replica. This video is brought to you by Smugglers Run Gaming, growing and organizing competitive gaming communities. Check them out at facebook.com at Smugglers Run Gaming. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dice Commando, coming to you from Monday Night Dice. This is round three of tonight's standard tournament here, pre-world. So on our left we have Eric the Viking, he's playing Droids, Fateful Companion, or Satine Droids FC, Fateful Companion plot. And on our right we have Joe, who we've seen ripping up the table tonight on Raylo. So we are looking at a match that we're going to see played probably... 150 if not more times over the next couple days while Worlds is going on. So, uh, Droids are favored in the roll-off, mainly because of Satine's dice. Alright, so 5-3, to three, yep, and he'll play on his feed most likely. He doesn't want to usually give the shields, but he wants to start. So, nope, he does. He, he actually takes the shields, does not give Raylo a shield. So Raylo will start on feed, using Joe's feed, and we're going to get started. Now, I'm going to be talking kind of fast. Eric plays very 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 quickly so I'm gonna do my best to stay on top of this alright one for R2 comes down Satine rolls in gets a reroll gets the two for one and then another two for one and he's ramping hard already back to Joel alright there's a pacify two shields go on to Satine As soon as he finds him, there we go. Yep, and then 3PO is coming in, and he's going to net two. Oh, he's going to do it twice. Yep, so he's going to also do 3PO and then also do Faithful Companion. So that's one plus one, and then two plus one. Yep, so he throws the free, or throws the resources out there. All right, Entourage down for three, and then he's going to tutor, a.k.a. search his deck, looking for another scoundrel, and he'll pull another Entourage, of course, which he just did. Now, what's nice is what's nice for Eric, that is, not for Joe, is that uh, he'll be able to flip that entourage to its two money. Not that he needs the three money, or not that he needs it because he has three additional resources right now. But in the meantime, Joe's going to try to get his turn started here. All right, so he'll feed R2 for one. That's a pretty cool little play. All right, entourage coming in. Oh, it doesn't even need it. There's the two money. Uh, yep, so that doesn't work. Yep, he was going to Neiman it, but he cannot Neiman it because it is a uh, upgrade or it's a support. Neiman is upgrade or character, right? So there's two more. Puts him at five. He's going to be able to keep his chain going. All right, Ray coming in with the Neiman. All right, there's two resource, resource. I don't see why the next entourage doesn't come down right now. Yep, that's what he'll do. So pays three for the entourage, and then he'll tutor for another scoundrel. We'll see if he pulls the muscle or the fickle. That'll depend. Fickle's probably a good pull in this match because Raylo doesn't make a ton of money. Oh, but he goes hired. Okay. Do keep in mind that this ramp is not done yet, right? So he'll shuffle up and then cut, and then he'll go back to Joe. Right now, this right now this droid deck on Viking side is doing everything he needs it to do. It's doing absolutely everything. He hasn't even had to roll an R2 yet, which is pretty big. All right, goes back to Joe here. All right, so two to three PO, six health remaining on that guy. Entourage coming in. There's a special. So right now that special is worth two. It's equal to the number of scout direct damage equal to the number of scoundrels you have in play. But he's about to drop a bunch of muscles. All right, Kylo, that's not bad. That'll be able to take off shields like it's his job. Actually, that is his job. All right, muscle for one. Special just became worth three. All right, two to R2, and then rolls back in, gets a discard. Hired muscle coming in for the indirect. Eric should pull that die back, but... All right, Ray power action for the Kylo special. He'll keep going, taking off shields here, I think. All right, three indirect, pays the one. He's going to see who Joe puts it on, and then lay escapes. So two on Kylo, and then... Wait, hold on. Okay, so he went two on Ray, one on Kylo, spread him up. 
what what Viking's trying to do is sniff out who gets the most, and then he'll he'll start putting the damage into him. All right. Oh, two more to R2. Does not go after the shields yet. All right. Goes three into Ray. Okay. Goes one, two, three into Ray. Now has six health remaining. All right. Two more into R2. R2 coming in. Flips to any side. Will he flip, though? Oh, he does. He flips to the two. Discard to reroll. One focus, two more to Ray. Now has four health remaining, so Ray is Ray's toast next round. Alright, one resource taken. Eric will claim. Yep. Alright, one for polarity, so he'll pay spot a villain to do one which goes r2 and then put the shield on the kylo and then he'll power action kylo and put it in r2 so r2 only has two left so man can Raylo do front turn damage i tell you what i should say front round damage all right but yep there's indirect but he's gonna want to flip he'll flip that into the special the question is if he can get some sort of weird action cheat going on. He does have the Qui Gon's Norelco in his hand, which is the Hush Com Link. All right, Ray coming in. Special, special. He'll want to get Kylo in before he can use that. The question is, will he be able to pull it off? I think the Hush is coming down. Nope, getting the other one in. All right, there's more indirect. All right, specials, give two to Ray, and then she's full up, so he'll re-roll in. Oh, gets the special again. Can't, now, that same die cannot be resolved, but... Okay, so it looks like he's done resolving specials for the moment. Oh, he's not. All right, so he's going to go Ray to the two and put the pressure on R2 here. I don't think there's anything Eric can do about it. Well, what he can do is he can roll in R2 and at least flip to a special, right? Yeah, I mean, all right, gets the one, and then, but either way, R2's going down, so that cock die didn't really matter. All right, yep, goes the special. Now, the special is only worth three right now. All right, dead R2, and that makes Fateful Companions a lot harder for Eric here. Satine coming in. Nope, maybe not. All right, Hired Muscle coming in. It's a shield for one. Two shields for one. Actually, everything on the Hired Muscle is for one. All right, Neiman Training. Here comes Satine. Rolls pretty well. Reroll a die. Oh, rerolls three for one, man. Right, pacifies the two on Satine, so she'll get one net because the other one falls off. I think 3PO, does 3PO come in here? All right, another muscle. All right, that's worth four now. The special, that is. But that's enough for a kill unless he can... Yeah, he'll save that and try to bounce in between, but... All right, R2, no, maybe not. Just doing everything he can to save Ray here. All right, bringing in, maybe not. All right, another for Neiman before he brings in Kylo. Right, so he does five indirect first. That's a nice play, Eric. That's a nice play. Let's see how Joe does these shields, because he'll be able to take two shields off and then redo it, but when the balance goes on Kylo, Kylo is under duress. That was nicely played. Yep, so it takes two off. The other three will go into Kylo. And then he'll put two shields on, I would assume, here. Yep. Goes back in. Oh, he did end up putting it into Ray. Okay. 
All right, so we're at, Ray's still going to go down. Yep, so he takes it before he dies, and then that'll that'll kill Ray with the hired muscle, three for one. And I think Eric's got this one. He can't resolve his next hired muscle yet, at least. And remember, with uh, 3PO, or with R2 dead, 3PO only resolves. You don't get the plus one, and Faithful Companions cost. So that's not bad. All right, hired muscle in. Indirect, that is now quite direct. Kylo... Not horrible. Although, actually, there's no upgrade to flip, so impulsed <laughs> EMPs the droid. That's funny. It keeps him off Kylo, right? So, fair enough. All right, Neiman training. And he'll he'll flip an upgrade die, so he'll go to a special on the other Neiman training, but then he's going to mastery back, right? So, because mastery can be played from your discard. Yep. So he goes to the one, and then mastery, and then he can flip a character or upgrade to any side. Wait. That needs to go back to the one. There we go. They got it. They got it. They got it. He just he just turned turned the wrong die. He he wanted the special. It was everybody knew what he wanted. That's fine. All right, three PO in with the focus. He actually wanted the money, but he'll be able to feed and get it. All right, so there's three to three PO, and then he'll feed. Takes the dollar. He's not putting the power action on, um, but that's what it's from. All right. Two more, one left on 3PO, and then he'll deal the three indirect. Puts Kylo at four health remaining. It's going to be a rough, rough go for Kylo in this next round here. All right, so he's going to play Luke's. Oh, he's going to dis dismantle the Luke's protection. Not bad. Because he has to pay zero resources to do that. All right, so Joel Claim. That was nice on the dismantle. Saved him the shield. All right, so one single special will do it on Entourage. All right, so he drops the Hush. He does keep Ezra Saber, but I don't think he's going to need it between the Hired Muscle and the Entourage. Because remember, the Entourage indirect is, like, the two and the three indirect is real damage right now. So, all right, one for Steadfast, drops 3PO, and here comes an Entourage. Now, he has to roll it hard here, but, all right, money, it's not what he wanted. All right, Kylo coming in. Specials are going to feel real good right now with those shields. Oh, Intimidate takes the three shields off. Nicely done. Entourage again. All right, there's damage. All right, Motive for Indirect gets it. All right, rolls in. That's the muscle. We do see a field medic in Viking's hand. So, all right, there's an overwrite paying two for the dagger. Other hired muscle coming in. There's the three for one. I do remember when Sabine comes in, or sorry, Satine. Remember when Satine comes in that he gets to reroll a die. All right, Kylo. All right, two gets a focus, but not what he was hoping for. It was hoping for. Well, max damage, of course. All right, there's the picking spot in yellow to remove the two blanks, and now he's in trouble. All right, R2 coming in. It's a shield. Eric will hit for three here, I'm sure. Nope, he does not. He automated his defense. Oh, yeah, he can't. Spot in a droid. Is what happens when you play fast, even when you commentate fast. All right, yep, there's the three. All right, drops that mind extraction, a little palp tech, shield, shield. All right, Satine, focus, and, oh, actually delivers on the indirect, and then re-rolls. There's indirect, so. 
All right, takes two shields, makes two dollars. Right back at him, right? And that'll do it unless he can remove. All right, two, and then that'll kill. All right, Viking takes down round three. Nicely done, gentlemen. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando. Hey guys, this is Mike from the Dice Commando. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Go Commando.